Can you believe all the things that are going on the last couple of days? Um, things like the swine flu uh, problem, uh, apparently originating in uh, in Mexico. Uh, at least their government has uh, closed restaurants and uh, closed different uh, uh, outing uh, events. Um, People are wearing masks if they go out. Uh, streets apparently look like ghost towns. And uh, yet America does nothing. They say that they're doing all they can do, but they refuse to shut the borders. I'm not talking about the hundreds and hundreds of miles of borders that people sneak across. I'm talking the ones that people drive across. They're refusing to shut those down. But yet they have the gall to say they're doing everything they can possibly do. Yes, they're doing everything they can possibly do to, to have a, a huge problem in the United States from this swine flu uh, uh, situation. Even places like India have uh, special scanning uh, devices that scan people when they're wanting to enter the country to see if they have any symptoms of this flu. You know, I mean, America's doing nothing. I, and this Air Force One thing a couple of days ago, <clears throat> I can't believe it that President Obama doesn't realize where his, where his jet is. Someone apparently was taking a joyride in it over the streets of Manhattan, flying low, or flying low, scaring the hell out of the residents of uh, New York City, you know, uh, just before work, they they look up and they hear this great big uh, airliner, see it and hear it, flying low around Manhattan, around the area where the World Trade uh, Towers used to used to be. Uh, not only was it flying around low for you know a half hour. It had a, uh, a jet fighter tagging along with it, you know, scaring the hell out of people. They were leaving their buildings. They were wondering what was going on. And yet uh, NYPD and the mayor and, and the officials of the city had no idea that this was going to take place. They weren't informed uh, of anything that was going to shake their citizens up. And yet Obama says that, you know, when they interviewed Obama, they, he says, well, this is the first time I've heard about it. I, I only found out about it when you Americans found out about it. I didn't know there was a jet up there. And then they changed the story, apparently, and said it was a photo op. They wanted to have the, you know, the jet fly around and, and you know, take pictures and fly around the Statue of Liberty for a photo op. Don't you think if it was a photo op that, you know, why would you be followed by a, uh, a jet fighter? Is that part of the photo op? And who was taking the pictures? Were they, did they have their camera set up in the fighter, fighter plane? It doesn't even make sense. Why would you spend thousands and thousands of dollars for a photo op when you can spend, you know, when an expert can spend 10, 15 minutes with Photoshop or any, any uh, half-decent editing program and put Air Force One flying around New York or around the Statue of Liberty, they could have uh, Air Force One uh, parked at McDonald's and, you know, waiting for a couple of hamburgers and uh, some french fries if they wanted to. They don't need to spend thousands and thousands of dollars when they can just go to Photoshop or some editing program and do it themselves. Doesn't that sound weird to you? Why would they, why would President Obama act surprised that he didn't know that his jet was flying around? Don't you think a president would know where his plane is? Don't you, I mean, don't you think there would be some kind of uh, security clearance or, or keys or some damn thing to have, you know, to prevent somebody going up and taking the plane around for a joyride? <laughs> and to think that they, you know, let this go on, 
And then they covered up by saying, oh, it was a photo op. Well, how about telling the NYPD about it and the mayor of New York about it? You know, I just, I, it just doesn't make sense. A lot of things uh, just don't add up. Um, I wanted to read to you a article that uh, I found at uh, YoPlay, the yogurt company. Uh, this is this is what people uh, need to read when they send a suggestion, whether it's a packaging concept or a concept on uh, commercial or something that the, they think that YoPlay might be interested in. This is what uh, this is what you need to read before you you know consider sending anything to this company. I cannot believe you know that any company puts out a statement like this. The only thing they haven't wanted, uh, besides what I'll read you, the only thing they haven't asked for is your soul and your firstborn. That's about all they haven't asked for. Anyway, you go to contact us in the on their website, and uh, then you scroll down. It says, our policy on suggestions and idea submissions. And I'll just read this for you. All comments, suggestions, ideas, notes, drawings, concepts, recipes, or other information disclosed or offered to General Mills by this site or in response to solicitations in this site shall be deemed and shall remain the property of General Mills. You understand and acknowledge that General Mills has both internal resources and other external resources which may have developed or may in the future develop ideas identical to or similar to the suggestion or comments to suggestions and that General Mills is only willing to consider the suggestion on these terms. That, any, that in any event, any suggestion is not submitted in confidence in General Mills assumes no obligation expressed or applied by considering it without limitation. General Mills shall exclusively own all known, or sorry, General Mills shall exclusively own all now known or hereafter existing rights to the suggestions of every kind and nature throughout the universe and shall be entitled to unrestricted use of the comments for any purpose whatsoever, commercial or otherwise, without compensation to the provider of the suggestions. They not only have the rights of everything that you give to them in the world, they have everything <laughs> in the universe. They're not going to just restri restrict themselves to the world. They want the universe. They might think that there's people in, on Mars or Venus. They're going to think, oh, I've got some ideas. I'm going to contact uh, Yo Play and General Mills and give them my ideas. I cannot believe how greedy and selfish this statement is. I, it makes me not ever want to eat another Yo Play again. I used to eat a lot of them, lots of them. You know, this just makes me sick. I cannot believe that there's such greed in corporate America that they just have to have it all. You know, the little guy that has a probably a better idea for some kind of a marketing program for the company, they're spit on. You know, I, I think it just makes me sick.